Many Serbian football fans remain hopeful this year's FIFA World Cup will be a memorable one. Among them is Sydney FC midfielder Milos Ninkovic. And in tonight's special feature, the A-League star shares his thoughts on Serbia's chances at football's showpiece event. Milos Ninkovic creates a stir wherever he goes in Sydney, a place he has come to love and one day hopes to call home. I apply for an Australian residence and probably become, soon I will become uh, Aussie. His future may lie in Australia, but he's still hoping to be on the plane for Serbia at the World Cup. Now we have some young players, very good players in Serbian national team and maybe it's time, time for them. But like I said, you never know, this is football. When he played against Australia in the 2010 World Cup, he had no idea he would one day be living in Australia with his young family and being one of the biggest stars in the A-League. His impact in the A-League has been huge, but he's also been a fine ambassador for Serbia. For our community, how proud of, we are of Milos. And I always compare him in a way with uh, Novak Djokovic and I think that two of the best sportsmen ever come to this continent is Milos Ninkovic and uh, Novak Djokovic. If he does have moments of melancholy for his old country, his growing network of friends in Sydney are there to help. Sometimes I miss I miss the Serbian food, Serbian music, Serbian friends, you know, and I have everything here. Despite a tough World Cup grouping with Brazil, Costa Rica and Switzerland, hope is high in the Serbian community. Something special could still happen. The last game we play against Brazil, first game against Costa Rica. If we win first game against Costa Rica, against Switzerland, we can win as well. And I think we have better chance than, than Australia to, to go through. Ninkovic is working on plans for a youth academy in Australia. But before then, he'll be looking to steer Sydney FC to back-to-back A-League titles and reigniting a stalling Asian Champions League campaign. John Baldock, SBS World News.